Hello everybody, welcome to yet another installment of Conan Exiles. Today we are going to be doing a guide on finding a legendary armor set. Uh, it's called the Pride of Azir, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. There will probably be a few pronunciations in this video that I can't actually get right, so you'll have to forgive me there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to the Mounds of the Dead for this armor, because we're going to be farming the Mounds of the Dead area for the three items that we're going to be needing um, to get the recipe for the armor to be able to craft it in the first place. So we're going to be whopping on our Kitan gear and we're going to be teleporting because it's cold. So we don't want to be wearing Aqualonian in the mounds, ideally. But this gear is only craftable if you turn in three items that are only available in the mounds of the dead um, to a well, a blacksmith's ghost, if you like, um, in the mounds of the dead itself, and then you go over to the frost temple to complete the craft itself because it can only be crafted in the black ice forge. So bear that in mind, people. Uh, you will be needing other things, but I will go through that a bit later in the video. All right. So currently, from the obelisk, we are stood in the middle. Got my little map room there. There's one at every obelisk on my server, um, as well as new Asgard to make travel easier. So yeah, if you do join, you can rest assured that you'll be able to get from A to B as long as you attune once. We are going to be going initially to, uh, what's this? The Cursed Mound. So from the obelisk, which is there, bottom left hand corner, you'll see there I've marked it up, recipe fragment. So we'll just get that right there and we'll go over here. I would highly suggest bringing a throw, some heals, some decent weaponry because, well, as we know, these hit hard. I'm stuck on a rock. They hit pretty damn hard, so yeah. It pays to be safe. Right, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to make it up there. Let's have a look. The Pride of Azir is um, cold gear, it's medium, it's got a decent armor rating and it's rated legendary as well. So for anybody that does want it, it is worth grabbing, I would say. But we're going to have to be fighting a fair few um, enemies, creatures and the like. Whoa. So ideally if you can, grab aggro, let your thrall do some of the work, try not to get corrupted because these hit and they do stun block very very well I'm going to be just clearing these out real quick mean as they don't get stunned get a hit and move there we go annihilator legend All right coming into the mound itself more here get a sunder on the go we can heal up later for time's sake there we go Get a little heal on the go for both of us. I should have bought some Hearts of the Hero for cleansing actually. I bought a Dancer but we should be alright. Alright, let's go. I just keep spawning in. So just keep cracking at them as much as you possibly can. Make sure they go down. Because you don't want to go in all the way here and then get pinned. You see this big guy there? That's who we want to be killing. So we want to be going all the way in here, killing all the little ones as quick as we possibly can. Preserving the heals as we go. Working our way around the mound. You can jump over if you want to cheese it. Um, but he is going to have a little companion in there. Pull him out a bit. Fight him on your own if possible. Making sure not to pull the aggro of the boss when you're on your own and crippled with no health. Oh dear, that was close. Alright, come here. Thank you very much. Roll away. Get him stuck here a bit. Get ourselves a heal on the go. Do a little left and right while we heal up. Alright, now we'll go and attack the boss. He hits pretty hard. He's basically the three skull from the unnamed city. Um, Ideally, it would be brilliant if my thrall would get his ass over here, but apparently no, he's been useless today for some reason, so let's go and try and grab him. 
Thrall, where are you? No? Not gonna help? Just gonna stand there like a melon? I don't know where he's gone. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Alright, come here. Come, this way. Yes, good man. This way, this way. Come on, come on in. Thank you. Right. Gotta love the AI. Now we need to bring him over here and hopefully not. Shit. Get stuck. Right, we're just gonna have to pound on him because we're stuck. He's probably just got us killed there. No, he hasn't. Legend. Don't follow me, follow the damn thrall. Oh, this is not working out very well, is it, people? And he's just stopped me healing. Brilliant. So, apparently you can't get a Thrall in there. That's good to know. Hmm. Right. Let me just think. Let me think. Let me think. Huh. Can I move him? Not allowed. Typical. Right, so it looks like it's going to have to be a one-on-one -on -one then. Right, so we're just going to have to be careful. Screw it. Oh, now you're coming. Genius. Right, grab him then. Or not. Hit him! Jesus! I'm going to be here all bloody day. Sorry about that, people. Don't want to be getting that corruption on you. You don't want to be fighting this guy solo, if at all possible, because he does hit quite hard. And he smacks the ever-living shit out of your throat. Right, making sure to always keep the aggro on your thrall if at all possible. Right, there we go, finally. Right, now he's dead. You go into his inventory and you'll see Thorgar's Recipe Fragment. That's the first item we need, so we'll grab that. Right, cool. Now that bit's done. I hate whites. I hate them. They drive me insane. You can't stun them. I mean, yeah, you can use the spectral coating and all the like, but... You try bloody finding it. It only ever drops when you don't bloody need it. Um, where are we going? I'm lost. I'm lost. There it is. Alright, so you can just jump the main wall and ignore all the aggro then, but if you get pinned in there by all of them, yeah, you're going to be up shit creek. Anyway, that's the first part done. Now, we're going to be going to the right side of this mound over to the crest. So, ducking straight down from here, and getting stuck on another rock, and another rock. It's not my day today. Right, dropping down, here we go, having a drink. Getting attacked by a bloody moose. Eesh, moose, deer, whatever the hell it is, I don't know. Waiting for Stam. I should have really put in um, a dancer at the map room, in all honesty. If I put a dancer in there, then uh, at least anybody that teleports will be have their corruption removed, but I didn't want it to be that easy. Bloody hell. Alright, is this the place? No, that's not. That's the other place. I don't want that place yet. I want this place. Alright, so we've got some more undead. We'll deal with them. He's got a lot less armor, thankfully, but my guy's just kicking him instead of using his weapon. Because you always love it when you give your Thrall an overpowered weapon and he refuses to use it. That's exactly why we gave it him in the first place, isn't it? Anyway, let's come to this little mound up here. And hopefully, we should have some Relic Hunters in here, if memory serves. So... Just beat down on all of them. Hopefully your Thrall will put the aggro of the undead. Yeah, he did. Brilliant. Right, wait for Stam. You can bleed these guys, you can stun these guys, it's no issue. Um, don't go that way because apparently it's crenulated. Right, this way. Yeah, go right side. Killing the archer. Smacking the ever-living shit out of the Thrall because, well, why not? Right, these lot. 
this is what you want to kill. They hit quite hard, and if they manage to get a good chunk on you and stun block you like they're probably going to do to me, nah, it's being nice, it's being nice. That's the guy you want to kill. The Taskmaster named. Once you kill him, go in his inventory, and you'll see that you get the crest. Grab the crest. Guaranteed drop, every time. Believe you can throttle him as well if you wanted a named Taskmaster. He's us named Taskmaster, let me get my teeth in. He's usually constant spawn there as well. Um, but don't quote me on whether he's throwable or not. I haven't actually tested that yet. I'm just assuming you can. Right, then from there, the last one, top right. And it should be the next mound over. We're going to ignore that, that guy there. I'm going to be running, running, running. And then this one is the only one I believe the item is actually in a chest. So you haven't got to kill anything, you can just literally run in, grab the chest, get the item, and get the hell out of dodge. Um, let's have a look. It should be... Is it that one? No, it's not that one. Right, so not the first one. Let's put our torch on. Going up here. Was it this one? No, it wasn't that one either. Go away, demon. Was it this one? Yeah, there, the notes. Right, so go into the mound, ignoring the thralls, beasting the thralls, whatever you want to do, NPCs rather. Go into the box into the end and I'll show you when we get to, whoa shit, some kind of safety, uh, the three items that we're going to be needing, that we've just gone and collected. Let's put our torch on again, get to the map room. Right, there we go. Sweet, right, the last two went a lot more smooth than the first one. So, yeah, gotta love that. So, what we managed to achieve was we got three stone for some reason. We got the crest, we got the notes, and we got the recipe fragment. So, just to highlight that for you again on the map, the locations are... Bottom left of the Mounds of the Dead is the recipe fragment in the cursed mound there. Top right is the notes, which is in the box and then that is in the Ravage Barrows and then bottom right of the Ravage Barrows you get the crest. All right, so once we've got all three of those we're going to be heading to another icon that I've put on my map which is right next to where the Cursed Mound is and that is where the Blacksmith's Ghost is so we need to be going there now and handing in those items. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. Running straight over. Corruption didn't do too bad actually. Um, one thing that I will say is you do need um, black ice smithing from uh, the Temple of the Frost to be able to use the black ice smithy itself. Um, there's the obelisk, that little mound there next to it is where the ghost is, uh, the blacksmith's ghost, and that's where we want to be going. So we're going to try and climb the wall, really hope that the corruption damage has not prevented my ability from getting up to the top, doesn't look like it has. So here we go, don't believe there's any enemies in this mound, there may be some around the, vic the vicinity of yet, there is undead, right brilliant, ignoring them or kiting them through either way, I don't think they can get through there, can they not, can they, oh shit there they are, right okay screw it then, let's fight them, they're all the worst. Can't stun them. Hopefully you'll finish that. Yeah, brilliant. Right, let's see again, shall we? Right, there he is. So you come up here. There he is, little ghost guy. Speak to him, the blacksmith. Give him the recipe. Purchase the scroll. Pride of Azir for the fragment, the notes, and the crest. Bop. Purchase made. Right, now we've got the scroll. Go into your inventory. Read the scroll, learn Pride of Azir. Right. So from here, we can look at the feats and we can go to Armors. It should be in the Exile Epics. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Pride of Azir, there it is. Um, yeah, Cold Durability Crafted at Frost Temple Smithy. So for that we are going to need alchemical base, we're going to need star metal, we're going to need perfected medium padding, and we're going to need black ice. So we know 
what we needed to craft it so we've already come prepared as you can see inside my thrall I've got 100 alchem, I've got 200 star metal I've got all the perfected padding already crafted on my actual person and when we get there uh, because I've got to run through the actual frost dungeon real quick to get the blacksmith the black oak smithing once we've got all that we go and put it in the blacksmith smithing and we will go the black oak smith and we'll get it but we've got to run through the frost dungeon first so we're going to try and do that real quick as well so we're going to find the ice temple teleport which I believe is the purple yeah I think that's the black keep actually yeah I think that is the black keep yeah, that's the Frost Temple. Top left teleport. So we're going to go there. And we're going to try and do that. You have got to kill the main boss. You can pretty much run through the entire dungeon, ignoring all the giants. And kill the uh, boss. Or just rob the recipe and do a runner. Entirely up to you. For time's sake today, I believe I'm just going to do the running. Bit of black ice there, look. So we come all the way down here. I'm yet to discover the Frost Temple on this server. So I'm going to go and do that now. And I'll grab my totems while I'm on the way. Because who doesn't like a bit of Nordheimer totems as decorative. Right, so if you come down here, there's the big Frost Temple. We're going to come over to the right side first. We're going to duck past the black ice. Press square on this and we'll learn totems. We're going to run up here. We're going to grab this. Learn by Crom, pray sitting, pray standing, ignoring all the thralls, uh, giants rather, coming straight down, preserving stamina, just kiting straight through these, no need to fight them, just a waste of durability and time in my opinion. You can if you like, but they're so slow you can basically regain all your stamina and then just carry on running. The ones that we will be killing are the ones down by the actual Black Ice Forge itself. So if you come up here, all the way through up the stairs, you'll find your main boss there. There will be an ad here, there will be an ad here. So what you can do is you can turn, you can fire like that. You can turn, you can fire like that. And then you'll be able to bring the little ones down, deal with those. Yeah, don't stamp me, you demon. Get some bleed, get some poison. Let your thrall do some damage, being as he ignores armor. There we go. There's two dead, and now we can go for the big boss man. Hello, big one. Duck. Oh, shite. Not a good stop time to run out of stamina there. Duck. Keeping the bleeds up, keeping everything else up, keeping the sunder up, just getting it done as quick as we possibly can. Backing off a bit because that's a hurt. Yeah, Thrall took that right to the mouth, gotta love it. Keeping the bleed up, keeping the poison up, dodging around. I think he's bugged my Thrall out smacking him like that to be honest. Looks like we're finishing him then. Die, boy. Thank you. There we go, journal for that. Sweet. Oh, he's got nothing of interest in his inventory. So behind his throne, you'll find Frost Smithing. Bop. There we go. Black Ice Pick, Black Ice Throwing Axe, Black Ice Javelin. That's what we want. Then we come back down here. All the way down. And we can get some black ice towards the black ice forge because there is an absolute shit tonnery of it. I believe it's right here towards the black forge. Yeah, this bit is extremely cold if memory serves. So we need to kill this guy. Why is my thrall bugged out? Hit him. Thank you. Nice smack. He took that right to the face. Right, there we go. Right, you're dead. Carrying on. Should be another couple down there. We do not want to be sitting on this bridge to fight these. So pull them back and fight them over here. Or let your thrall deal with it. 
Right, looks like Throlbo is going to be doing the three man. What a legend. I am not going in there because the last time I went in there, I got smacked. I fell straight off into that pit down there. I didn't die from the fall. I died from the undead dragon that's down there. So we're not going to be messing with all of this. We're just going to be trying to get a couple of hits as and when we can. Kiting the little one away. Smacking him in the spine a bit. Oh, that thunder actually worked. Ooh, that was painful. Right, all of these have got star metal, so they will do a um, cold snap attack on us as well. So we'll be very, very cold if we take a hit. He's the, basically a mini boss um, for the forge itself, so he goes down pretty slow. Just making sure that you apply your, your dots, your bleed. Bring some food if you need some food. There we go. Maintain temperature. Right, that should be it. Right, this is the forge of Ymir. I believe that is everything. Yeah, it is. Right, so. We should be able to go into the forge. There we go. And there's all the armor. So we need 12, 8, 8, 15 and 8 black ice. Right, so 100 stack will be more than enough. We'll go and grab the 100 stack of black ice and we'll craft the gear. And then we'll show you what it looks like, what it gives. See how long it takes to craft as well, actually. There we go, over encumbered. Drop that. Can I give you anything? But I can't, can I? Right, screw it then. Let's just roll. Actually, better yet, turn our back and do a backflip. Skillfully approach the forge, why not? That should use more stamina in hindsight, but there's no particular rush at the moment there we go put those away put the black ice in the actual forge if it will allow me access there we go put the padding in there and grab the alchem grab the star metal and so tetchy that forge I must admit it's just like the volcano forge right what's this Perfected medium boot lining. Oh shit. Perfected medium boot lining you need two of because it's not got a thrall in it. Didn't realise that. Fair enough. Good thing to remember. Craft the chest piece then. Um, same thing with the gauntlets. You need two boot linings and two gauntlet linings. Worth noting. Right, so we can make the head, we can make the chest and we can make the legs. Um, so yeah, remember that people. These two the feet and the hands you're going to need double just like a, if you would with your own without a thrall um, we'll take that uh, chest piece to try on, we'll take the helmet piece to try on and we'll take the legs as well I'm not in admin mode, I'm not using cheats, I'm doing all this legit so I can't exactly spawn in any padding or anything if I've forgotten it so we'll just be We'll just have to leave that. You all know that it's able to be crafted. It doesn't change anything. Um, we'll put that on. We'll put that on. And we'll put that on. Basically get a view of what it looks like. It's basically frost giant armor. For your actual own person. Um, it gives you uh, attribute wise. Three points in strength. Oh no. That's wrong. That's wrong. Ignore me. Let me take this off. This is giving me the strength. Right. So just for these two, it's giving us two points in vit, two points in accuracy, and two points in grit. It's giving us ice protection as well. Um, it looks all right, actually. I don't mind it. I mean, each to their own, but I would wear this over wearing um, Kitan in the uh, ice. I don't know as it's diable, but yeah, that is how you get the Pride of Azir gear. And uh, there's a quick little guide for you, hopefully. It wasn't too annoying to watch, as it was to do, <laughs> being uh, perpetually trolled in the first mound. But yeah, other than that, the weight on it, the, the, the armor rating's 427 with two missing pieces, so you can imagine it's probably going to be capping out at 600, like the Sobek armor. Uh, weight for the chest, 1736. Durability, nearly 3K. Um, 
the helmet weighs 10, 1800 euros, the legs weigh 12.40 and 2700 again for the euros. It's a really good armour piece, I mean you can roll in it, um, it will prevent you getting frostbitten I would have thought from uh, PvP. It's given me a lot more um, flexibility to run around and stuff, so yeah. I enjoy this armour, I must admit, and I love that skull on the helmet, I love the horns, and I really like the skulls on the crotch sort of area. It looks pretty cool, I, I do enjoy this armour. So for anybody that did want to know how to get the Pride of Azir, that is how you get the Pride of Azir. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching. Again, as I say, thank you for joining the server, if there's anybody else, there is some free slots if you all do want to join. Uh, feel free to check out my previous couple of videos, uh, they go into a lot more detail about the server settings if you want to jump in. Uh, the arena will be coming soon, um, I spent a good three hours the other day trying to build an arena and it wouldn't fit, it wouldn't fit in the area so I had to demolish it and I was going to start again but I haven't had the time as of yet so it will be up soon and I will put a video out for the grand opening of the arena as well if anybody wants to come and do PvP battles. Um, but yeah, I thank you all again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all soon. Cheers peeps, ta